Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's been a while since I have done a uh, video, let alone a podcast or anything. I've been working my ass off in my day job. This is Celeste Stacy, by the way. So, unboxing video. Haven't done one of these in a long minute. So, anyway. Just came. This is from... Sephora. No packing list. Now, if Sephora, if you're listening, a packing list is a true measure of a company. If you don't have a packing list, then you don't have a company. You just have chaos. Or Amazon. Anywho, so, this is what I got. Three things. This is my Amazonian clay by Tarte. And this is my powder by Sephora. And then this is my mascara by Sephora. And this is a Love the Lift and it's waterproof. So, you know. So when the man when your man makes you cry. You may, you may keep on run. All this stuff is, I think it's all waterproof. This Amazonian clay is a 16 hour full coverage foundation. And then this powder is matte finish 21.5Y, which is like my, my complexion color. Medium buildable coverage to even skin tone and micro and smooth imperfections enriched with aquatic micro cells from vegetable vegetal origin. This foundation maximum minimizes the appearance of pores, max mattifies skin for up to eight hours. So. That was good. Okay. There you go. And that's what this is. And then this. Uh, full coverage and soft matte finish. Dermatologist tested and non comedonic Where the hell that means. And it goes on to list all the ingredients. So. I've used all this, this stuff in the past. And it's like this is my go to. But it's expensive. I mean, right here is probably ninety dollars. This right here was like forty-two or forty-eight, and then this was like thirty-two, and then this was like I don't know, twelve or sixteen. So it's not cheap makeup, but it lasts, and it lasts when you put it on. It lasts, and so. Yeah, I've been completely out of my Sephora for for years. And I've been using cheap makeup. Cheaper makeup. I've been using uh, basically dime store makeup. And and it's like, you know, you can tell the difference. So. If you want to look good, you got to spend the money, ladies. And one thing I didn't get, I wish I had. I... I have some Mary Kay because I have a couple of relatives that are Mary Kay, Mary Kay ladies, so they give me some of their stuff. And I have this one, it's a primer. And I like the Sephora brand, or I should say the Tarte, Tarte brand primer. Because you put it on, and it, it's, it's really, it's got like a real good gel feel to it. Whereas this Mary Kay one I have. Maybe it just is because it's been it's old. I don't know. I mean, my sister-in-law that gave it to me, it was uh, there's uh, not samples, but the stuff that she's had, and then she said that she has to get get rid of it and it's got you know it's about to expire. And then I get it and then I throw it in my drawer and then I forget about it. And then you know three I don't know, six months later I get it. I was like, oh yeah. So I set it up on the counter so I use it, and it's like. 
it's like liquidy it's not jelly it's liquidy so I don't know maybe it's just expired <laughs> I don't know anyways I think I'm gonna order the uh hold on hang on okay this is the primer I'm talking about it says Talamea primer super makeup five in one targeted correction anti-sheen anti-fatigue anti-age long-lasting hydration I don't maybe this stuff is designed to be it's it's meant to be liquidy oh and then another thing I got is my Givenchy very irresistible Eau de Toilette which is French for perfume. So, and this was always my favorite one. But it's so damn expensive. This stuff right here this is like 70 some, $75, I believe it was. Yeah. And I, I, uh, I was looking for travel size ones and I, and I Googled it. And it was a funny story. And then I found them. And it was on eBay. And it's like seven ninety nine for little travel size ones. So I got, got one. Well, I originally got three, and then I, I seen other Givenchy perfumes, and then I started watching the YouTube video reviews on those other ones. One was uh, something demon, and it's like, and the and the one lady was like describing it. And it's like I'm like, oh, I gotta have that. So I ordered that, and that was like another sixty dollars, and then throwing in travel size of this. And there's another night. <laughs> Eighty dollars. <laughs> it's like, fuck. I was just like, I'm. I'm glad I'm working ten hours, six days a week because I got all the money to pay for all the money I'm spending. So, anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Cause I gotta get ready for work and go to work. I'm on second shift now. So, yeah. It's still, this is my first week on second shift after after being on first for years. And it's like, I am more rested. I am getting more sleep. And uh, that's a good thing. And it's like, I'm slowly, in, so, my spouse of 35 years, she's decided to leave me. She wants a divorce. And it's like, the way she did it was bullshit. I mean, I seen it coming. I mean, the way she was treating me the past couple of years, it's just like, you know, like I was dirt on her dog shit underneath her boots. And it's like, you know, and I kept on bugging her. It's like, I go, what's wrong? What's wrong? Why are you acting like this? What is wrong with you? And then she wouldn't say. She wouldn't say. And then fucking finally she did. January 2nd. She said, I want a divorce. And I'm like, why didn't you fucking tell me this? In November or October or six months ago. I don't know. I go, I just spent three grand on fucking Christmas on the boys. And now, I go, what the fuck is wrong with you? I go, if you had told me before Christmas, I wouldn't have fucking went all out on Christmas. It's just. just another bullshit in the long line of bullshit of 35 years with this woman she for the whole 35 years she has fucking changed the rules changed the parameters made me spend money left me broke and now she's like I want a divorce and here I am $22,000 in credit card debt and it's mostly all fucking hers. So. That old saying where they said everything ends. I always saw it just bullshit. Hollywood stuff. Dialogue. But no it's fucking actually true. All good things must come to an end. Except in this case. I'm getting paroled. So. Anywho. Done with the rant. Everyone have a nice day and
don't be so trusting. Because there are people out there that will fuck you over. Anywho, I'm out of here.